welcome one and all today at the Sharjah International Book Fair we are here with Mr Vikram Seth an Indian novelist and poet so great that he started his writing career with his first novel The Golden Gate Vikram Seth held an interactive session with the school students catering to all the different questions he talked about the students brimming passion for writing and creativity Mr Seth addressed the crowd's questions about his career and hobbies among many other topics. He talks about the meaning behind his calligraphy pieces that were displayed for the children to see. He shared his experiences about learning these art forms with the students. Mr Seth read out one of his most popular works, The Crocodile and the Monkey. It was once in a lifetime opportunity for the young children. When you wrote Suitable Boy in the beginning, did you expect to come up with a sequel? Was that idea already in your mind or is it something that developed over the years? Uh, it was neither in my mind nor did it develop over the years. My publishers obviously wanted me to capitalize on the success of A Suitable Boy, but I was exhausted and also bored by the idea. And I put it aside for many years and it didn't develop. It just suddenly came to me because I was wondering what Lata who was 20 years old when I left her, what she would make of our present situation. And I suddenly thought, why don't I do it? Towards the end of her life, when she's 80 years old, looking forward a bit, but also back. And that struck me as being the answer. It wouldn't be boring, it would be interesting, it would jump 60 years. And so it, it began to intrigue me. So that's how it happened. Speaking about the suitable a uh, suitable boy, so it's made into a six-part series now. It's being made, yes, as we speak. Yes, by uh, Mira Nair. She's a wonderful director. So, what do you think captured everyone's attention? Do you think it's because of the announcement of a suitable girl, or has this idea been uh, in motion for a while now? Uh, there have been several people who've tried to make it, and at one point, they had written 13 scripts and. A long time ago, like 10, 15 years ago, uh, I think uh, I uh, Channel 4, I can't remember. But finally it is being made. And uh, I, I think it would have been interesting in its own right, regardless of whether I announced Suitable Girl or not. Mira Nair is a very, is a wonderful director. And uh, so anything she made would be of interest. And then this book has been chugging along in its own way as well. So, you've mentioned before that you've had to move around quite a lot in your childhood. A lot of your pieces, a lot of your work contains different cultures and different societies despite you living in different places. Would you say that moving around helped you gain that experience or do you write from your research? It's an interesting question. Um, I, I see myself as very rooted in, in India but I feel that the world's cultures belong to me, just like uh, Western culture belongs to the Chinese or Icelandic culture belongs to the New Zealanders. I think it's, we are all human beings and uh, nothing human should be alien to us. So wherever I find interesting things, I, 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 I batten on to them. But I do think that with a book, you can't be too cosmopolitan, you know, it really, the books that I've written, whether they're set in San Francisco or in England in a string quartet or uh, about hitchhiking across Tibet or in India, they have been very much of the place and of the times. So it's a slightly contradictory way of saying, yes, spread yourself wide, but don't forget who you are or whom you're writing about. Towards the end of the session, Mr. Said joined the students for some photographs and signed their books for them. With cameraman Sai Harshwardhan, this is Varsha Nagarajan reporting for Manipal Dubai TV.